Psalm chapter 57 Aseity and Relationality of God Awake, my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. Psalm chapter 57 8. David found himself in a life-threatening situation, hiding from Saul in a cave. He instinctively called out to God for deliverance. However, his prayer takes a turn midway through. He declares with great determination, I will awaken the dawn. If the dawn represents the light of salvation, David is showing a posture of not backing down or resigning himself, but rather actively seeking God's deliverance. What changed in his prayer? The key to understanding lies in verse 5, Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. The God of the Bible relates to all of creation. The first chapter of Genesis sets up this relational aspect. The term, God and man, itself implies an intertwined relationship rather than just their respective self-existences. God's self-existence aseity is a confession and a doxology that defines the transcendent God who is qualitatively different from man. What would be the meaning of God's self-existence, independent of humanity? David points to the relationship between God and man and prays with the assurance that he will awaken the dawn. God's glory is not revealed solely in his self-existence, but in David's salvation. God's self-existence must be confessed through David's praise of his salvation.